Welcome to today's version of I Broke My Bobcat. This is an 863G Bobcat. And what's going on with this thing here today is I was driving it, running my stump bucket. And as I was running the stump bucket, pulling stumps out, it suddenly got a lot quieter. What had happened is the motor was still running just fine, no problem at all. But the fan, which is located in here, uh, that cools the the bobcat it pulls air through the the back deck there the fan had thrown a belt so if you want to watch how to replace a belt on a busted bobcat for some crazy reason stick around we'll show you how we do this one here and by the time you're done with it you're going to have a handle on things So, once you get the cab up, I don't know why I've got to always lift the cab for everything on this thing, but you do. You've got to get all the way underneath the seat. And if you look right there, you'll see this is the angle gear that runs the blower fan for cooling the engine compartment. And on this side of it, there's going to be a pulley. And we're going to go check that belt and see if that belt's broken. So, we'll climb up in the machine. Okay, we're up in the machine. There's the pulley that we're looking for. And you can see there's the broken belt. There's no belt on the pulley. That pulley goes down into the, uh, goes down to the motor and there is a tensioner pulley as well. That's a plastic tensioner pulley. So check that plastic tensioner pulley, make sure that the bearings are okay on it, make sure that it's not cracked or anything like that. Uh, I guess that sometimes happens. This one happens to be okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this nasty piece of belt out of here. And we're gonna replace that belt. What's the best way to replace that belt? <laughs> like with anything you do on a bobcat, any way you possibly can, because you can't reach anything. So, we're going to try it from this side and from the door side as well. They tell me removing the battery is a good idea. I'm going to try laying something over the battery so I don't get acid on me and try to uh, try to work around it because removing the battery on this machine is kind of a pain in the hiney too. All right, here's the new belt we picked up. This one is a Bobcat belt. It's good for this 863G series. Uh, they needed to know that it was a two-speed machine in order to get me the right belt. They believe this is the one with the lug traction on it. Uh, I picked up both belts just in case because there's two possible options and they're an inch different each. And I just got no kind of luck with getting the right one the first time around, so I bought them both. I'll just return the one that I don't use. Let's get this thing put in. Tools I use for this job is a long pry bar, a socket with a long extension, and a 9 16 socket and then another small socket wrench with a 5 16 allen wrench all right we're looking at the machine from the door side and if you look real carefully let's see if I can get this camera in here there's the bottom pulley that I've got to go around way in the back there. And then I've got to get it to go around that tensioner pulley right there to get a little light on it. There's the tensioner pulley. And there's a keeper on that tensioner pulley that I've got to tuck the belt under. And then it goes around that third pulley up top that we looked at already. I had to loosen the bolt on that tensioner pulley in order to be able to get the belt under the keeper. It was a little tricky, but I figured it out. Stick around, I'll show you how. So this is a lot of fun. But with an extension, you can get a wrench on there, and it loosens up pretty easy. You get that done, I can't hold the camera and do this at the same time. All right, a little tricky to see, but here's what I came up with. 
I had to take a, the pry bar and push the tension wheel forward and put a wrench on it with the Allen socket to hold it tight on this side and then the, uh, I have to I'll go to the other side of the machine under the cab and tighten things up from there and loosen things up from there. This is the only way I could get this to work. But I was able to get the belt on. Well, there you have it. The belt turns and I don't get any squeaking from the bearings or anything like that. So I guess we'll call this one a success. And the cooling fan's working again. That's good news. Hey, if you could hit that thumbs up button for me, I'd appreciate it. And we will see you next time I manage to break my Bobcat. And if your Bobcat was broken too, I hope this helped you to get a handle on things.